Um, no? Well, tell me something about Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Konjo, no? Ah, uh, Konjo, no. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You guys are from Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. Actually, very good, very good. Okay. You What's your name? Semama, no. Dagu. Okay, brothers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We got black men with the with the with the kids with the youths them. Black men with the youths them. Hanging out. Very awkward over here. These kids don't know what to do. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye. Eshi. Salam no. Amano. Ah, come. You want to? You want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. So. Alright, guys, so. Salam, no? Hello, salam. Alright, guys, we're just walking through, saying what's up to the peoples. Hello. Hello, salam, no? We are downtown. Uh, we're, at, we're headed to downtown. Not quite sure where we are actually. Walking on the road, driving opposite direction. Yeah. Uh, we're crossing the street very illegally. But there's no such thing as that here. You just gotta go. Gotta uh, go for it. I think it. we should go backwards. Uh, this way? Yeah. Okay. All right. Actually, they're building a new road here, it looks like. A big highway. I've never seen this road before. Oh wow, it's a bus heading my way. Alamno? Oh man, guys. That was a uh, that was a trip, huh? That was an interesting trip. Yeah, we know. I've never experienced. I mean, you have you ever experienced anything like that before? No, That's the, He's got the moves! <laughs> <laughs> That's my version of Iskista. I'm not that good at it, but I'm trying to learn. Yeah, this looks like a new road that they're making. I've never seen this one before in my time of living here. But yeah, guys. We're going downtown, I think, or at least we are in downtown. Yeah. Downtown is busy? Uh, pretty yeah, much. Let me yeah. Get yeah. Yeah. That's where the hip things happen. <laughs> yeah? Bizarre. Yeah, we're going. We're going to get lost in the streets of Addis Ababa. That's it. We're going to meet a bunch of locals and we don't know what's going to happen after, but it's part of life. Yes, sir. Salam them. It's a barbershop. Salam no. We are walking down the street right now in this area that I've never really walked down. I think this area is known as uh, Bole Mikel. But it's so weird because even in my time living here, I never actually walked down this big road. I think I've driven through it before, but look at this. Yeah, it's changed quite a bit because they're building this big road here, as you can see. Um, a, lot of, a lot of construction going on. A lot of development. Salam no? And then this? So we're just walking down this road and I think we're gonna take some public transportation which I've actually, I think I've done once in my time in Ethiopia. But public transportation is always interesting. You know, you get to uh, experience it like the locals. 100%. Uh, you know, taxi is one thing, but when you really take that bus yeah. or that train with the yeah. locals, you really get to feel like you're immersed in the in the country, you know? Yeah, we so we're going to wait here. for the taxi here? Yeah. Okay, for the minibus? Either, either okay. one, I mean. We get a bus, we get a, yeah. bus. We get we get a bus. bus, we get a bus. So we get taxis, we're going to, yeah. right, we're going to get a bus, we're going to blend in with the locals, Yeah. and we're going to experience what life is like as a typical Ethiopian. 100%. So usually, they, uh, I've taken a minibus before, okay. like back How in the day. It? Yeah. it was an interesting experience. We were crammed in, but it was oh, nice. Yeah. Everybody was cool. Yeah. Get and you have to figure out where we're going. Okay. Bole, okay, Bole, yeah. So, Salamno, Salamno. All right, guys. You should get this, man. Bole, Bole. Bole, Bole. bole. I'm gonna come back here with Kudus. Salam no. Salam no. And then Nish. Denani. Alain. Alright, guys, we are in the minibus. Hello. In the minibus, mate. Semesh Mano. There's some big ass. Very nice. We're, we're, uh, ten tops. We're crammed in here in the back. Ten, ten tops, yeah. Ten minutes? Uh huh. Ten minutes. Ten minutes on this public bus, guys. So, how it works is. Everybody gets in, uh, you wait on these lines. Sometimes the queues are a little bit longer than it was today, right? True, yeah. I think because of the holidays, it's not too long. And then you just sit here with the people, man. This is how the locals transport and travel around here. 
Um, I usually take taxis, but uh, because I was with Kudus, he was like, let's try this out. And I'm glad we did it. And now I'm sitting next to these little angels here. They're like wondering, what am I doing? What is this guy talking to a camera? What is he, crazy? I don't know, maybe I am, but... <laughs> so yeah, guys, we're gonna catch some views along the way. And Mr. Black Man is sitting all the way up ahead. How you doing up there, bro? I'm chilling. Yeah? Got little man on the side. He's the hustler. He's the he's the caller. He's the shot caller. Got the hustler over here, man. Yeah, the, he's getting all the money. He gets the money. <laughs> money man. So how much does it usually cost to take a bus like this? Uh, it depends on the distance, but yeah, thinks the inflation should be yeah. exploding. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, roughly for per the person. distance we're going right now, yeah. it's probably around five to ten bucks. Five to ten bucks yeah. per person. Five to ten bucks. Not bad, because for a taxi you usually pay like at least 150 to 200 bill. So oh, yeah, yeah. five to ten bill for uh, for a way to get from one place to another. Way I mean, cheaper. Yeah. I can't even calculate that in dollars oh, yeah. to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's like five cents maybe. Pretty much. But yeah, guys, we're we're, we're driving through this area of Bole Mikael. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. You from Addis Ababa? You? Uh, no English. No English? Yeah. No problem. Chikirillo. Amarini ati chela. Tinish tinish. Guys, it's nice sitting uh, sitting in these, getting these experiences. I've done this in a few countries uh, in my time of traveling, and uh, it's just like you know, you you get really get to feel like you're a local, and that's the way I travel. I don't like to travel like a like a bushy person, you know. I like to travel like I'm one with the people. So. Uh, but sometimes the problem with taking these buses is that I don't exactly know how to use them, I you know? Yeah. I mean, even though they're yelling out where they're going, sometimes I don't even know what the name oh, of the I place know. is. Not so structured. So it's yeah. not so structured. It's one of those things like if you're here, you know how to do it. Oh, right boss away. man! He's the boss man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're headed to uh, Bole downtown area. And uh, from there, hopefully we'll run into something cool. And then I'll check in with you guys. Right? Say bye-bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Look guys, we're riding through a decent papa, sorry. Ikarta. Chicken. Chicken. Look guys, these are some views. Views from downtown. travel through this bus or you could take the bigger bus which I've seen as well I've never rode on it but mini buses actually are more frequent I think than the, than the bigger buses Salasabur oh that's expensive for them too for them too I want to pay for that I want to pay for that Salasabur yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, because they're so sweet. I can't let them. There you go. You change? Is it all? Okay. Is she? Chane, chikarillam, chikarillam. Bye. He took my 200, so I gotta get my change. Yeah. No, I was paying for those little girls in the back. Yeah, yeah. As here in Ethiopia, the the queues for gas, getting gas, is crazy. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Salam, no? And Danish? Very good, how are you doing? What's your name? Redit. Redit? Redit. Redit, Meyer. Nice to meet you. And what's your name? Sion. Nice to meet you, Meyer. You seem shy. You look very shy. Yeah, yeah, Quiet. So yeah. shy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So we're walking through the streets. No, I know you from YouTube. You do? <laughs> ah, we got another. We got a. We got a. We got an audience here, man. Well, What's your name? Travels, right? Yeah, bro. Thank Doggy. you, man. What's, up? What's your name? Doggy. Doggy. Nice to meet you, brother. What's good, bro? Nice to meet you. I so, like your outfit. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm trying to blend in. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yes, I'm trying to fit in. in. Really good. <laughs> thank you, brother. I, I feel like I'm Habisha today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah Are you, you from here? Yeah, bro. Thank you, bro. Born Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. I right, appreciate bro. that. It's always nice like to meet someone. I like your stuff. I like everything. I like. Am I, you think I'm uh, like uh, portraying Ethiopia the way it should be? Like, you think I'm doing a good job I mean, with yeah, it? Yeah, bro. Yeah? yeah, I like the Kasanchi Swan. I saw the Ka uh, bro. Nice. You're like Ethiopian, basically. Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. All right, bro. Have safe, a nice safe, day. safe, man. Safe travels. All right, Dougie. Yeah. Awesome, 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 guys. You see, 
when you do the right thing and you come to a place and you represent it properly, you can come back to the country without having to worry. And that's the beautiful thing, guys. Yeah. So don't go to a country trying to exploit the people, yeah. exploit the culture and yeah. show shock content. Yeah. Because you know what? That's a one-time thing. You won't be able to come back. But yeah, we out here. We're walking through Bole. Saying what's up to the folks, to the youths them, to the, to the, to the girls them, to the men them. Salam no. And they no. Salam no. Aman no. Hello, salam. <laughs> yeah, guys, so. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're walking through Bole. That's the Medene Alam Church. We're just walking down the street here. This is Bole proper. This is where all the magic happens. This is the downtown of downtowns here in Addis Ababa. And uh, we're just kind of experiencing it. I mean, I've experienced this many a times, but it's always nice to come back, feel the vibe of the city see how the people are doing it's quite popping today quite busy but yeah it's just uh i don't i don't see too many changes i do see that they're fixing the roads from the last time i was here um i noticed some new kind of like businesses opening up but i think most of the stuff here is pretty pretty same pretty much similar as you came here last time how was it i was like same kind of the same yeah it hasn't really changed too much from the last time i think i came a little bit right at the end of covid so you didn't see people outside as much but now i think uh you know people are back outside 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 you know as the young kids say we outside outside during COVID, it wasn't like this was no quiet. no it was it was it was a bit more bit more quiet and if you came during the peak of COVID, yeah. no! you remember me <laughs> yeah of course i remember you salam no and they know and they know i'm no i'm no Salam no! How are you brother? So these guys, I tried to talk to them in my last series. If you guys watched my last Ethiopia series. Remember we talked? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You remember I was last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing. We didn't we didn't know how to speak to each other. And then we had the Amharic for visitors book. That's the that's the that's the shoe polish? No man, it's okay, no problem. Next next time I come back. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> So if you guys watched my last series, when I was walking through the same area, those same guys said what's up to me. Yeah, it's nice to see familiar faces. That was cool. This area is very modern. Yeah. So this is like the most, you know, downtown, city-ish area of, of uh, Addis Ababa, for sure. So you get some, you know, big businesses, big malls. Maybe we could even try to go inside a mall. So let know. This is Edna Mall. Well, what used to be Edna Mall. The most popping mall in Ethiopia or in Addis Ababa, but it's no longer. It's actually closed. Uh, it went out of business. Every shop in here is closed down now. And over some, you know, whatever reason, whatever happened, but unfortunately, this mall was a place where a lot of the youth and everybody used to hang out. There's a movie cinema, all of that, but now there's not much left in there. But I think soon they'll probably try to revamp it and renovate it yeah, and bring it back to life. But for now, it's a, it's a thing of the past, unfortunately. You hate to see it, you know? Especially places like that, where people, a lot of people hang out and stuff, so. Plus it was a pioneer, you know? It was, yeah, it was like the OG. Yeah, yeah. Like when you tell someone, yo, meet me at Edna Mall, like you know, yeah, right, away, know right away, boom. Yeah, it's like everybody knew Edna Mall. Yeah. But it's all good, you know, things gotta change, things gotta move. Yeah, I wonder more places now, so. Yeah, because of that, right? Yeah. But I wonder what's the next mall that's gonna like really take over. Take over. Yeah, sure. you need like the hyper mall, the mega mall, we'll you know? See, we'll see, we'll see. It's yeah. gotta step up its game. Somebody's gotta, somebody's gotta take over the game. It's like a void in the market. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, it's the best Western here. Has this always been here? Uh, I think it's about three, four years old. Oh, it's fairly new. Yeah, cool, cool. So this is the place I made. This is it, oh, okay, okay. So this is the, it's called a morning, it's called the Morning Star Mall. So yeah guys, this is uh this is the next biggest mall. Salam no? <laughs> so Morning Star Mall. It's got a pizza hut in it. Got some burger spots. You know, looks pretty uh looks pretty nice. And a coaster. It's no Edna mall, but you know, it's close enough. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go inside. See what's waiting for us in the mall. Alright guys, so we are inside the Morning Star Mall. And for all of you mall dwellers who love to see malls, this is what it is. You got some shops out here. You got a jewelry shop. You got a hair shop. You got a big Christmas tree right here. And yeah, it's popping, you know? This is where the, it's where the people uh, come to hang out with their friends. You know, you can sit down. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Yeah. So as you can see, there's like 
one, two, three, four levels, I think. So it's a pretty big mall. Would you say that this is the biggest mall in uh, in Addis at this point, or? No, no, no. no? Okay. Century's bigger. Okay. Uh, there's another one called uh, Gaston. It's a Victoria's Secret for the ladies. What am I going to do, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check out what's going on. We got some restaurants. Got some places uh, to buy some cosmetics. Hello, salam no. Are you English? She seems shy. She's nice though. She's cute. Oh, some burger spot here. Angla Burger. I have a bad experience with these burger spots in Addis. One time I got a burger from, uh, there used to be a place called In-N-Out. Yeah. They kind of oh, copied. In -N -Out. No, but they copied the one from America. Oh. So, they did? Yeah, that's why it's not there anymore. So I ate the burger, right? Yeah. That was the first time I got like really bad food poisoning. Uh, yeah, and that shit, man, that had me messed up. So I don't really trust these upscale burger spots. I'd rather go eat Tibbs on the street. Yeah, guys, we're just walking through the mall here. I just wanna, I just wanna show you guys that Ethiopia has all sides. You saw the other side of it, and now you got this side. We got these fancy malls where you can come, do some shopping, hang out with your friends. And I'm tired from walking up those stairs. Damn, I'm out of shape. How big is this place? Damn, I'm out of shape. I think it's four floors. So here we are. We got all, all kinds of shops here. Some jewelry, some watches. Salam no. She didn't want to say hello. It's all good. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. You got a salon, no? You got a suit shop. You got a nail salon here for for the ladies. Oh, you got some places to eat. Get some bunna. Salam no. Deno. Alen. Salam no. So out here, you know, you got some some coffee places. And look at this beautiful Christmas tree. They're still in the Christmas spirit here in Ethiopia. Actually, I thought this was four floors, but it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like six floors of, of uh, businesses. Pretty crazy. It's too big. It's huge. I can't walk up all those things. shopping center. <laughs> the Chinese have made it to the mall here in Morningstar Mall. There's nowhere you can go in the world without finding a Chinese restaurant. And do the Chinese actually own this restaurant or is it owned by like uh, Ethiopian people? Ni hao. There's no one there. Yeah guys, so this is a uh, Chinese restaurant at the top floor of this mall. But look at this guys, look how high we are. Oh. I haven't been this high in a long time, you know what I'm saying? Wow, on, is... look at this though. I don't want to drop my camera here. Mm. Wow, it's six floors. Yeah, guys, Ethiopia's got big malls too, you know? It's not just uh, small little alleyways that people show you. You know, I like to show you all sides of a place. And, um, you know, I hope I can encompass that and try to represent a place as real as possible. But uh, I'm going to sign out on this one. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the downtown, get a little vibe, show you a mall. And then, um, yeah, stay, in, stay tuned because I got a lot more things coming from Ethiopia. And Mr. Black Man the Traveler's got a lot more coming too. But uh, remember guys, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.